in triangle MAH below, MT is perpendicular bisector of AH. All right, so I want to label that. MT is the perpendicular bisector of AH, meaning these two segments are going to be the same, and that is going to be a right angle there. Which statement is not always true? Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to look at the answer choices there. I'm just going to focus on this diagram that I just labeled. And looking at this right here, I immediately notice that what I have is two right triangles. I have triangle AMT and triangle uh, HMT. These two triangles are actually going to be congruent. And how do I know that? Well, that's because AMT is being shared. And both of these are going to be right angles. So therefore, these two triangles are going to be congruent based on side, angle, side. So these two triangles are congruent based on side, angle, side, and then based on CPCTC, or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, these two segments are also going to be congruent as a result. So therefore, this triangle, AMH, or MAH, however you want to say it, is going to be an isosceles triangle. So the reason why I, I wanted to uh, investigate this triangle a little more before I look at the answer choices is because, you know, it'll give us a sense of like what we're looking for. Okay, so in this case, uh, and I've expressed this before, I'm not a big fan of these questions, like which is not right true, just because then we have to like really fish for everything. So the more you know about the diagram, or the more you know about the background information about the the, the question, the the more helpful it will be um, in identifying things that you're looking for. So anyway, triangle MAH is isosceles. Is that a true or false statement? That is absolutely true because, you know, I've just mentioned and proven to you. Option two. MAT is isosceles. MAT is isosceles. Now, looking at this diagram here, that is, that, can that be true? It, it could be true. Does it have to be true? Does it always have to be true? That's not necessarily the case. So option two is here, here would work. But let's read the other three options, uh, the other two options there. MT bisects angle AMH. Does that work? Well, as a result, MT, right, these angles therefore must be the same because of, again, correspond CPCTC, right? Those two triangles are the same. So angle AMT and HMT must be congruent. Angle A and angle TMH uh, are complementary. That is also a true statement because uh, the third angle is 90 degree. Therefore, um, all three angles must add up to 180. Angle A and angle TMH must be complementary.